Hey guys, you're watching a quick introduction to using a MIDI keyboard with GarageBand. First off, choose a MIDI keyboard that feels right to you. It presses nicely in your hand, and your hands are at a horizontal level with the keys not up perpendicular, up or down. Make sure you can know how to play the piano first of all, or can at least play some keys so you can hear what it sounds like on your computer when you eventually set it up. Get to know your keyboard, and make sure you know all its ins and outs and what it runs on. Most MIDI keyboards use a high-speed USB 2.0, so plug one end into the MIDI keyboard's end and one end into your computer end. Open up GarageBand and start a new project. GarageBand automatically recognizes MIDI keyboards, so when you turn it on, it should show up. Turn on your MIDI keyboard. After doing so, a text box should appear on your computer letting you know the number of MIDI inputs has changed. Continue the setup process by turning up the volume on your computer and turning down the volume on your MIDI keyboard, just so you can make sure you can hear stuff coming out of your computer. Now play some notes. If you've done everything correctly so far, GarageBand should be playing along with you now. Play with GarageBand instrument loops and see what kind of sounds you can create. Open GarageBand Preferences and click the Audio MIDI tab. You can customize your preferences for audio inputs and outputs, your customizations, and your MIDI sensitivity. Adjusting sensitivity will adjust key sensitivity. And of course, happy practicing. Enjoy your new MIDI keyboard.